Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> Today I thought I would do a tag that I've been seeing going around for the last couple months, I think. So I thought I would try it. I thought it'd be so fun and I've had a lot of questions on my chat and outside of my chat about myself and my practice and what I do and things like that. So I really thought that this would be a good opportunity to talk about all that while doing this tag and passing it around again if you would like to try it as well. The tag is my mystical YouTube journey. <laughs> and this tag was created by Starlight the Wild Witch. So I will link her channel down in the description below. I actually discovered this particular tag originally from Mystic MZ, so I will tag her channel down in the description below. I think they are both <laughs> really incredible mystics and they are trying their best and you can really see that in their videos and the way they describe their things and yeah. Um, so <laughs> there's 25 questions so this might be a long video. <laughs> I do have ADHD so I may, you know, strangle off track but I will try to do my best to stick to the list of questions and really follow through with this tag so that <laughs> you get passed along um, if you haven't heard of this tag or um, if you have just kind of like curious about other people doing it. Of course, welcome. So first off, I am Tamsi Fay, and it's also my YouTube name. So question number one is what is your YouTube and channel name? <laughs> so my YouTube and channel name is the same thing. Um, <laughs> my channel name is Tamsi Fay, and I call myself Tamsi Fay. Tamsi, I just chose Tamsi as my spiritual name. Um, and if you try to type it in, it does autocorrect and will <laughs> try to correct it as my real name, Tammy. But I prefer to call it Tamsy. I just, I don't know, I just feel like it feels more me. And Fae is because I'm a strong believer in fairies and the Fae and that sort of energy. Um, <laughs> so that is where Tamsy Fae comes from. So that's question one. <laughs> question number two is what type of content do you create on your channel? So. <laughs> I've only been creating tarot-related content on my channel. I do want to go into some more spiritual things regarding um, connecting with the spirits and that sort of thing. That's just not something I have done on this channel yet. <laughs> it's something I do on my own time. But that is something that may come eventually. I'm not sure yet, but <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the type of content I create. Number three, what inspired me to start my channel? So <laughs> I've always been a bit of a mystic and spiritualist my entire life. <laughs> um, so yeah, so like, I don't know, I'm sorry, I just don't know where to start with this question. What inspired me the most is like I've had a really big spiritual awakening. I've spoke about that before and I think one of my first videos I posted, um, you know, I just had my well, like the biggest spiritual awakening I've had. I've had a couple of little ones, but this one was a big one. It was profound and it kind of like pushed me into this direction. I have other YouTube channels that I have created previously. One was a family vlogging channel, which I wasn't quite comfortable with. I thought I would be able to motivate other parents in the things and techniques that I do. But um, yeah, I feel like the only content that was very popular in my channel at that time was really digging into my children's personal lives. And I did not want to expose that on the internet, so I chose to take that off. You can still find the channel. There are still some contents that um, my kids a lot said that I can keep up. You can probably find that if you wish, but <laughs> that has been abandoned, and that is not something that I'm going to be focusing on anymore. Um, I thought about changing that channel into like a gaming channel because I do enjoy gaming. I just don't have time for gaming. I have other things <laughs> that occupy my time more than that. So that is, you know, I also started a channel for my little home business. Um, <laughs> but I'm so busy with my business, I don't remember to film what I'm doing when I'm working. 
So that just wasn't working out as well. Because when I'm working, I'm working, right? So <laughs> I don't get to record everything that I do in my business so as it does. So yeah, that's what inspired me to question with my biggest spiritual awakening. Um, there is videos of that. There's also a blog about that. If you follow my blog, my blog is His Butterfly. <laughs> if you want to follow that as well, we'll give you more details about that. Um, also, so number four is how long have you been on YouTube as a content creator? So like I said, <laughs> I've made other channels um, <laughs> that, you know, I don't want to um, talk about really, but I have done other channels, so I've been on YouTube for since 2020. <laughs> but for this specific channel, I started last Halloween. I think I made a video just before Halloween, so like the last week of October. So Halloween this year, I want to make an anniversary video. I don't think it's going to be posted on Halloween just because I am doing other things on Halloween. I know I thought about doing a live on Halloween, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that this year just because... But I think uh, I'm going to go back and find the original date that I did post my first video talking about me and why I'm starting this channel and all that on that date. And I will have a one year anniversary um, video live stream, I think. Yeah, <laughs> as I will call it. Um, yeah, so it, it will be a year in like a week or two from when you watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> Depends when this video gets posted, right? You know what I mean. Um, so number five is, what are your hobbies outside of the channel? <laughs> because while you already discussed that, I am very spiritual. I do like to, um, I don't want to call it ghost hunting. I know that's what a lot of people call it, but I do enjoy going through, going for walks in graveyards and talking to the spirits that are there. That is something I enjoy. That's something my children enjoy and have always enjoyed. Um, <laughs> and... Yeah, that's just our happy place as well. <laughs> and I'm a bit weird, but oh well. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not too weird and you join me and are spending time with me right now. Um, even though this is a recorded video, I appreciate your visits so much. Besides that, I do enjoy gardening. I'm not really good at it, but <laughs> it's something I continually try to do and I'm working on perfecting a little bit. We are, the house I'm living in right now is really small. We are looking for a bigger house where I can have like an actual garden as where I am now. I am in a house, but I, I, my house does not have a yard at all. It just has a driveway. So that makes things difficult and it's like right in the city in a busy street. And yeah, so I am looking to move. That is something that is happening at some point in the future, not sure when, but it is in the works. Um, so I feel like I'll be able to do more things that I enjoy there than here. But you know, tarot is definitely a strong hobby of mine as well. I like reading for my family members and friends and all of you guys as well. I really enjoy that. So number six, is there a new style of content you would like to try? I'm not really sure exactly what they mean by that, but if you have any ideas of a different style that you would like me to try, definitely comment down below. I'd be very curious, or if you have another tag besides this tag that you would like me to try, I would be definitely open to try that as well. Um, like I said, I would like to try some more um, showing how I connect with the spirits and stuff like that. Maybe at some point in the future, I don't know if that is considered a new style or just my personality as it is now, but yeah, that's um, just something. Um, so number seven is how do you plan your content? How do I plan my content? I kind of just wing it most of the time. <laughs> Usually I do plan it based on the moon energy. I have an app on my phone actually. Um, this app is called Draft Moon. And um, it looks like this, I don't know if you see it, but this is a app on my phone that tells me what the moon is and what it is. So I do base my tarot readings, especially when I do the ones for um, the signs like Libra, Gemini, all those signs. The readings are based on the moon as well as where the sun is. <laughs> um, this app is really cool. And like the planets, I do do a lot of um, choosing my content based on that. Um, 
I guess mostly specifically what cards I'm going to use and what themes I'm going to go with. For the readings, I try to redirect them on my live streams, but sometimes people just have so many questions that um, they're not interested in the moon thing, and I get that, it's fine, you know? Um, but when I do pre-recording videos, I, I kind of lean um, the questions based on where the moon is. So like right now, during the stream recording right now, the moon is in Taurus, and it's in the wanting moon phase at 86%. <laughs> And the sun is in Libra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is interesting. So <laughs> that is basically how I plan my content. Um, to number eight, what are your tools of the trade? Well, definitely tarot cards. <laughs> I have a lot of tarot cards. My most favorite deck is the one that I created. Um, this one is the one I created. <laughs> my second favorite I is the Light Shoes deck. Um, I have it here somewhere. I have so much stuff. <laughs> so light shears deck. So these two are my favorite, for sure. Um, I've also created some oracle cards that I use for some of my readings. Um, or just like to choose for a theme of my reading sometimes. You'll see that in my videos <laughs> if you haven't checked them out already. I um, also love the Monology um, deck. Um, this one is... It's pretty accurate to what a lot of the spiritual meanings are if you Google them. Um, some of them are a bit different, but overall it's pretty cool. Also, <laughs> so that is number eight. Oh, and yeah, like the obvious stuff, you know, like a camera. I use two cameras. Well, I have a camera for, as you're seeing now, but for the cards I use my phone. I know I have to get another camera because sometimes I think when I get messages or something, it, it cuts out, but work in progress work in progress you know um getting a camera is something that i'm working towards but <laughs> um obviously i have a pc so that runs everything that you see and lighting my lighting is basically my candles um the light in the room and i have a lamp that is over my camera up there that's what i use <laughs> um so besides of that so yeah so that is number nine <laughs> Now we're at number nine. The number nine is, as a content creator, do you experience burnout? I do, <laughs> but it's not really from making the content. It's just, I pull in a lot of energy when I'm doing tarot readings, especially from the spirits. And especially when someone asks for a spiritual reading, I feel like some of them don't realize it, but I do try to call in spirits to give these people a message um some some people who ask for a spiritual message nobody wants to come forward so i just kind of like wing it with the cards and my intuition but sometimes when i do call upon them for a specific person someone does step forward and that's really draining for me um there was one reading i call um i called someone and they were they weren't happy and they stand right next to me and like um they had some harsh words to say, so I was trying to really hard not to say those words and try to say it in a kinder manner, but that just irritated the person who came forward, and I just started crying. I don't know if it was visible on my live or not. Um, Ronnie, who is my helper, he's also my partner, um, you know, <laughs> romantically kind of thing, if you're wondering. Um, he's in the chat also trying to help me out during these lives. He did not notice that, so I'm fine with that, but... Um, yeah, sometimes it is really draining, and it was kind of, um, not really frustrated, because I get it, I get it, you know, it, it, it's hard to understand, like, you're probably listening, like, oh my god, she's crazy, I, know, I, got it. <laughs> I get it, I get it, but it was just like, the person just laughed it off, and I never seen them again after that in my chat, so, <laughs> it is what it is, right, um, some of those experiences are draining and hard to recover from after, I feel, um, for sometimes, um, but yeah, and like sometimes I just get overwhelmed with everything else I have going on. Like I have children and <laughs> a house and bugs and cats and <laughs> you know, um, that take a lot of my time and energy as well. So yeah, <laughs> so that is the question for that. For number 10, what video are you most proud of and why? I think most of them, but I think... I think I'd have to say like a lot of other people is my first one just because I had the courage to talk about my story and myself I know I didn't really go into as much detail as I thought I did at that time and I do feel like I should redo that video but you know 
<laughs> life and stuff and it's already been made so redoing it I don't know if that would be like weird or not but anyways um yeah and just like being able to create these contents and <laughs> share my um, I don't really want to call them guests, it's just kind of like who I am kind of thing, so I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah. <laughs> so that was number 10. So number 11, who inspires you in the magical pagan community? Well, a lot of people. Um, there are people that I like most um, watching videos from or like really inspired me is Eddie and Jen vlogs and then some they are also they are a really lovely autism family that goes ghost hunting or you know whatever you want to call it seeking out spirits and they do try to help them and I love that about them they don't try to irritate them or provoke them or anything like that they are very calm and peaceful and respectful to the spirits and they do try to help them go to light and that sort of thing which I love, they, they definitely need more credit, more love, <laughs> more encouragement to post more videos. Um, yeah, so that's their name, I'll put it here. As well as Sandra Pink, she is another Canadian witch, <laughs> which I adore and watch her videos. She has some really spooky stories. She also goes out and does some paranormal investigation type things where she does speak to the spirits and um, the things they can find in her are just amazing to watch as well. So those two have inspired me as well as What the Paranormal, <laughs> Amy, and um, I believe it's her niece. I always forget her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, they are wonderful people. They have such a good sense of humor. And if you watch their videos, they're always doing like different things. They do a lot of uh, group investigations with other people and have these um, amazing conversations if you want to check them out too. I also have all of these people's channels linked in my community page if you want to check that out. Those are all the people that I generally follow most of the time. <laughs> um, I have more than that too. I have added to my list since then for sure. You know, I've met a lot of people. Like I said, Mystic. MZ Scott Scorpio Sun, I think his name. Yeah, his <laughs> channel will be here too. But I love their chat. They have so many cool people and such a great community. In his chat is amazing as well. I do follow Scott as well. I'm thinking about doing a collab with him. I'm not sure. I know he asked me a long time ago, but I wasn't sure how this whole collab thing works. And I'm still not sure about the whole collab thing. Like, I know I did one on my channel before and. The people who are generally on my chat seem to be extremely confused about it. So I'm not sure if that is something that would actually work for me in my channel and the community that I have with you guys. So um, if you're watching this, like, let me know if you do want me to collab with other spiritualists out there and um, do tarot together or not. That is, that is totally up to you guys for sure. Um, but yeah. And I watched another, I watched some other ones too, like Cancer Moon, I just love the way he talks, you know, <laughs> he's so good at talking, he's just, <laughs> you know, I wish I could talk like that, but, you know, I stutter my words and stuff like that, you know, I have trouble saying so many people's names, I feel so bad, but, um, yeah, so number 12 is, do you believe there are misconceptions about magical pagan YouTubers? I do, I do, and it's because, you know, <laughs> I feel like some people, like when I, especially when I first started, um, a lot of people were like, you're not like a normal tarot girl. That's not how you do it. That's, <laughs> you know, like, okay. <laughs> um, I've always done my own thing, my own way. And like, I read the cards to light to you to dark to me because I'm reading it for you. I feel like if I was reading it the other way around, it'd be like reading it for myself. So <laughs> that's just me. Everybody does it differently. And I think that's the misconception is that everybody is different. And like some people are really strongly in the pagan belief, which is perfectly fine. Like everybody has their own past. I don't consider myself specifically a pagan, even though Ronnie does. I don't, I just feel like I'm just being me. I'm just being the way I was raised, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't feel like I, I fall into any specific category. That's why I just call myself a tarot mystic and spiritualist. Um, you know, I can resonate with being a fairy witch as well. A fairy witch doesn't mean that you are a fairy. 
obviously I don't have my wings, <laughs> but um, a fairy rich means specifically is that you can connect with the spirits and you can connect with the fey energy. And I can sometimes connect with a fey. I had a fey. I don't know what happened, but I lost her. <laughs> um, I haven't really tried to get another one to come in, but you know, it's something I will work on. I don't not sure what happened to her. You know, these things happen. They come, they go. They have their own personalities and their own journeys that they're following. So, you know. Um, yeah, so I think that is the most misconception is that realizing that we're all different. We all have different beliefs. We all do our own thing. Um, you know, some are really into it. Some have lived it their everyday lives. And some of them, they're only like this in front of a camera. So, you know. I know it's really hard to pick and choose which ones live their lives this way and which ones just do it in front of the camera, right? Um, yeah, but that's my opinion about that. Number 13, are there channels you would recommend? Ooh, like I said, <laughs> Eddie and Jen, Logs and Ensom, definitely. What the Paranormal, definitely <laughs> check that out. It's not tarot, but it is paranormal if you're into that. Sandra Pink, um... She doesn't really do tarot either, but she does once in a while. But she mostly does paranormal. Um, if those are things you want to check out. But yeah, for tarot, I do recommend Scott. Um, Scott Scorpio Sun. I'm pretty sure that's his name. <laughs> I'm horrible with remembering names. As well as Mystic MZ and um starlight the wild witch as well i recommend you following them especially if you want to use this tag as well for your own channel and there's like so many others like trying to think <laughs> there's ali um i was on her channel about two months ago i think maybe a month ago i don't know <laughs> it was quite a while ago you can find that on my channel and maybe you can find that link to her channel i think it's in my i think her channel is also um, in my community page if you want to check that out, but yeah, definitely I recommend following everybody who's on my um, Community page because I love all of them dearly 14 what types of challenges do you face creating on this platform? Definitely talking. <laughs> I wish I was better at talking I know I mispronounce words all the time and sometimes I just stutter my words and I repeat things I do my best to edit when I'm making videos, but I'm glad you all bear with me. You're all here. I appreciate it so much, but definitely speaking, um, not sounding too weird, <laughs> is the biggest one that of challenges that I face, as well as, you know, the technology as well. Without Rodney, I would be completely lost and I probably would not be here. So, <laughs> you know, he deserves a big shout out as well <laughs> for making the tech work properly and you know keeping the chat flowing and entertaining so that's that is amazing for sure um mm -hmm. so what do you like this like about being on youtube i don't know <laughs> um i like meeting everybody i like i love everyone who comes to my chat i absolutely love all of that i love the ones that keep returning every single live <laughs> uh, i appreciate them so much i love meeting new people i love you know watching other people's channel and knowing that they're watching mine i just love that community um, i love the sense of the community that's what i like the best it's like youtube gives you a sense of a community sense of a belonging and just something that you really resonate with right so i feel like with all the channels i watch and all the channels that who watch me we all have the same you know, we all are into the same thing, so it makes like a really fun community. Um, that's what I like. What I don't like is <sighs> just just the little the little I don't know. Like some people are like so judgy about other channels, and some people are so sensitive. So you have to always be careful with what you're saying instead of just saying it and just like <laughs> you know. Um, that's why, yeah, that's that's why I dislike about the channels. Like, oh, I probably guess again, I guess the misconceptions that everyone is different and no one wants to accept someone else's um, way of doing things, way of thinking, and all that sort of thing. I feel like that is really challenging, you know. But that's how it is on social media, right? Everybody has their own opinions, and yeah, 
and always trying to watch out what you're saying yourself, you know? <laughs> um, yeah. But, okay, then we have 16. 16 is, what is your opinion on monetization? I think monetization is a big thing. And, you know, without monetization, people would not have the time and energy to make these videos for people to watch, you know? Um, you know, like, I am really trying to get to 500 subscribers so that I can have stickers that way um, <laughs> you know like I do do tarot for free and I will continue to always do tarot readings for free on my channel my live streams but the donations really help to be able to come out and do this because there is a cost to making YouTube videos you know like there's a cost of the candles always burning in the background the incense that I have burning the um, the time I spent researching my content information sometimes, you know, especially around the different full moons and the research I do for the birthday videos I make and that sort of thing takes time and, you know, having all these different uh, things that I do, so, <laughs> you know, like I, when I watch other people's channels, I make sure to watch the commercials because I know the longer you watch the commercials, the longer they get paid and it doesn't cost me anything. It's free to sit there and watch a minute long commercial and they benefit from it. So that is something I choose to do personally. I know you, there's always an option to skip the commercials, which is your choice. And they still get a, a, like a penny for that, <laughs> for skipping the commercial. So, you know, uh, you don't make a lot of money on YouTube. Honestly, uh, my son does YouTube. He is monetized on his channel and even with four and a half thousand subscribers he only makes a hundred dollars for five months of work and he works really really hard so you know um the people who do make a lot of money on youtube is because they started a long time ago but things have changed since then because when they first started there was a bigger incentive for youtubers to be youtubers right but now that everybody especially since 2020 has become a youtuber um, the money pot is being spread out through a lot more people. So, you know, the rich people who are YouTubers and have a Lamborghini. <laughs> that is not something to look forward nowadays. <laughs> um, nowadays, um, I think to make money on YouTube is mostly about um, getting sponsorships. Like if you can make a commercial, like if somebody wants to give you something and you try to sell it on your channel hopes that they buy it or click on it to watch it a little bit longer whatever that is um perhaps but um youtube alone cannot suffice your income um you know so you do need other things you do need to work outside of your home and your youtube channel even though youtube does take a lot of time like if you are a youtuber yourself you understand how much time it takes to prepare and do the videos and edit the videos editing the videos takes much longer than making the videos um yeah so i am all for monetization it is an incentive for people to continue to do it it is helpful for people to want to come back um you know it is it, like everybody enjoys a little incentive now and then you know so that is what i think about that so the 17 is do you have any boundaries on this platform why or why not I don't know. I just want everybody on my channel to be happy and satisfied with what they're watching. Um, I do love feedback, you know, if it's good or bad, like I can't fix my mistakes if I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So <laughs> I know a lot of other YouTubers seem to not like being pointed out those types of things, but I feel like if I'm doing something wrong, I would like to really know so I can fix it and make things better. Um, I would also like to know what I am doing well so that I can make more of that, you know? I find feedback is really important in growing anything, right? Growing a business, growing, you know, I would really like my tarot readings to turn into a business. That's why I do offer free readings and private readings. You know, I do charge for my private readings. Um, yeah, but <laughs> it is something I'm hoping to grow and do more of. That is my end goal um, of why I'm doing this. But um, I also have a little shop. My shop was 
something else, but I'm slowly turning it into more of a spiritual, witchy type store thing. Um, it's not really public yet. It's a working progress. I mean, it's public in my hometown. Like, I have a little store in front of my house that I work at. <laughs> um, and I've been making things for that. So, um, so that is that. So, Yes, for the boundary part, but if it wasn't clear, it was just about, you know, um, giving feedback and, like, everybody getting along and that sort of thing in my chat. <laughs> um, you know, I don't really go into the drama sort of thing. I avoid drama like the plague, so. <laughs> um, I don't really get into he says, she says sort of things or... You know, I am nobody's parent either. I'm not going to parent people in the chat. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. <laughs> I have my own kids to parent. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the only thing I have there. I have to say about that. So do you have any current goals for the channel? That's like I said, is to grow my tarot business and to grow my witchy store business <laughs> is my goal. Uh, and to provide spiritual insight for anyone who seeks it. Like I said, I have free readings in my channel. I'll always have free readings in my life. I feel like they can be insightful. You know, nothing is set in stone. Nothing is, you know, it may resonate with you. It may not, obviously. But I do feel like it gives you something to think about. Even if you don't want to take it. Even if you take it with a grain of salt. It gives, it gives you something to think about. You know, like, mm, do I feel that way? You know, do they feel like that? You know, it just changes your mind and your mindset so you can grow. You know, <laughs> tarot is about a spiritual journey, a spiritual guidance. It's just a guide to go with to bring up some new ideas. And tarot is about digging into your deep, dark emotions. So I feel like people don't really like digging into their deep, dark emotions. They just want to know what other people think instead of rather what they think. And but that's fine as well, you know. It's always good to know what other people think as well, if it's right or not. Uh, it just gives you something to think about, right? <laughs> um, so number 19, or what are some of the mistakes you've made and how did I fix them? I probably made a lot of mistakes. I'm not sure how I fixed them. <laughs> um, I know I make a lot of mistakes on how I say people's names, but sometimes I get really distracted as well. Um, I know a few times I'm doing a, a reading on my chat, I accidentally said the wrong name. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> you know? <sighs> um, yeah, that is probably, I think, the mistakes I've made. Or probably more, I don't know. But like I said, I love feedback. So if you know any mistakes that I've made on my channel, um, let me know. I would love to know. Um, yeah, and then it says... So number 20, what are some of the ways your channel has grown since your first video? It's grown. It's grown a lot faster than I even imagined. Because like I said, I did another channel before about family vlogging. And it took me two years to get to 100 subscribers. And like this channel, I'm only going to be 100. I'm only going to be a year into this channel in a, a week or so from now. Closer to the end of October. So this channel has definitely grown a lot faster, so it is a lot motivating to come here and make content for you all, for sure. So, and I think I've grown, I think I've been more confident in myself, more confident in my practice of that sort of thing. Uh, I've learned a lot about how people think and how, um, yeah, <laughs> which I think is really important when you're a tarot reader understanding different people and how different people think and how different people process the information you give them and that sort of thing. Um, so 21, have you ever thought of quitting making videos? Well, I have previously. <laughs> like, I, like I said, my other channel wasn't working. Um, then my other channel for my business that I had, I still have, it's still public, my other channel. Um, but I don't make any videos on it. I just don't have time when I'm working in my shop. I'm working in my shop. <laughs> I'm not filming, you know? I feel like maybe sometimes I should just put the camera on and just leave it while I'm working and try to edit that out later, but, you know. <laughs> That's not something I've been doing. So, for that, I, I kind of considered that sort of thing. I've seen my son and him growing his channel. I, also encourage me to seeing other people just bring out the spirituality and I just love seeing all the different spiritualities from different people and how they perceive things and do things I love that so I like to share myself and what I think and that sort of energy um, yeah 
So for 22, what do you wish you do before YouTube channel journey? How hard it is? <laughs> You know, when I first started my family vlog channel, I was like, oh, this is so easy. I used film what we're doing, and it's going to be, like, so fun. You see other family vloggers filming. They look like they're having so much fun. They look like they're all organized, and everyone's happy. But, <laughs> like, when I was doing it, like, nothing happened. It was, like, a disaster. <laughs> you know? I was like, okay, let's start this over. And, like, start over. It's kind of like, you know, when you see the behind the scenes of, like, Hollywood movies, when you see them, like, practicing over and over and over and over again. I felt like that's what we were constantly doing, like, trying to... Um, act, I guess <laughs> it wasn't working out for me, right? Obviously, but I've found my true passion, and I feel like just being myself, my genuine self, has been more productive. So, that is what I've learned being on YouTube is just to be myself and not try to pretend to be somebody else because that obviously was not working, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, so 23, do you post any on any other platforms? Well, I do post. The videos that I post on this channel on Twitter X <laughs> you know what I mean um, I also post on Instagram most of mostly everything I post on Instagram is to advertise this channel <laughs> I am trying to do the threads thing I'm not really sure how that thread things work I think it's the same as Instagram um, so I haven't really posted on there but sort of um, where else do I post I did try TikTok but I gave that up I was just I'm just not a TikToker <laughs> if you want to look for Tansy Faye on TikTok, I'm there somewhere, but I haven't posted in like a long time. <laughs> um, so I just kind of like a focus on this channel. Um, so number 24, do you have any advice for others wanting to create a channel? For sure. I'm always encouraging other people to make a channel. My kids tell me, stop telling other people to make a YouTube channel <laughs> because there'll be too many YouTubers. They're like, you want it? Don't you want to be the YouTuber? <laughs> I know. I was telling me that, but anyways, I do encourage you um, to try it, even if you just do it for yourself. Like, um, Miss like MZ said, she said it perfectly good. Like, you do learn a lot about yourself doing a YouTube channel. You know, you think you're doing it for your, for other people, but you're actually doing it for yourself because you learn a lot about yourself when you're making these videos and editing yourself. You see the mistakes you do <laughs> and you're like, you know, <laughs> correcting the mistakes you're doing by editing. <laughs> but then you grow from that. You learn how to do things better the next time. And then um, the more you get more comfortable with yourself and the more that you realize your own mistakes, the editing gets easier because then you edit less and less and less because you know what not to do right <laughs> so you do learn a lot about yourself and I do feel like you could take these skills into the work for work force outside of your home you know like you can um, like I said learning about how people think and how people communicate among themselves and that sort of thing I think can be very helpful with my business that I have besides YouTube uh, dealing with my customers and that sort of thing so but yeah so that is why I encourage other people to want to create a channel. So 25 is, who will you tag in this video? Uh, I'm going to tag <laughs> Mythic MZ for sure, because this is she really convinced me to make this just by watching her video. <laughs> she didn't say anything specific, like, hey, DMZ, you should do this. But, you know, so I'm gonna, definitely going to tag her, and I'm going to tag Starlight the Wild Witch, because she's the one that created the original tag, and she needs some credit, right? So... Yeah, and like I said, um, some of the other people I mentioned I will probably tag as well. But you can also find like everyone I follow most of the time. I do follow some other people that are not on there. I should probably add them to the list when I get some time. Um, but yeah, you can follow that on my community page if you choose to. But that is the end of the questions in the tag. So thank you all for <laughs> listening to my magical YouTube journey. Um, yeah, so glad you came. If you stayed to the end, awesome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And also, like I said, comment down below what other kind of videos you'd like to see me do uh, or questions you'd like me to answer. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, um, I was gonna say something. Yeah, and if you haven't checked me out, check me out live. I am live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and most Sundays. I don't think I could guarantee every Sunday <laughs> it's a work in progress BC is talking I think she's telling me to um, say goodbye <laughs> I think she wants some pets now but <laughs> um, yeah thank you all for coming and I enjoyed this little doing this tag and yeah if you have a channel definitely do try this tag out it is hashtag by magical YouTube journey 
And yeah, you can find all that in the description down below. But I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful, magical day. Bye!